Hello students, now I am going to explain what is the time complexity uh, involved in doing certain operations with an access control list and capability list and also in relation to the access control matrix. Now as you know an access control list is maintained on an object basis where for every object you maintain information about which users have what permissions on those objects. Okay. Or as a capability list is where you maintain on a per user basis for every user you maintain information about what objects they can access and with what permissions so in compared to an access control matrix where you have basically a matrix where um, Sorry. Uh, as an access control matrix, we have a list of users and the objects they have. But with the matrix approach, even though for certain users they don't have access to any objects, you still have to maintain that entry because the subsequent cells may have some entries, right? So normally we kind of uh, use. Uh, Uh, in this case, each user can have at most what uh, ownership, read, write, and execute permission, right? So we use four bits per entry. So if a user doesn't have anything to do with an object, you have you maintain as all zeros. Whereas if a user has say ownership, read, write, and say no execute permission, then this is what the values of the four bits that you will maintain for every cell. So with an access control matrix, you pretty much have to fill up the whole matrix with four bits per cell. Whereas with an access control list approach, you have to really maintain information about only those users who have access on the object. Similarly, for the capability list, you maintain information only about those objects to which a user can access. Okay. So under all this um, uh, kind of constraints, so let's see how what is the complexity involved to determine or to do each of these three specific things. Okay, all right. So let's say we have n subjects. A subject could be a user or a process, and m objects. Again, an object could be a resource that you're trying to access, or it could be even a process that a user is trying to access. Okay. So what is the ease of determining or changing authorized access during execution for a subject to an object, which means you have a user and you have an object, the user wants to access the object. So if it is an, it's a capability list, you go to the user record. So for example, if it's user 2 trying to access object 2, then you basically go to user 2's record and see whether object 2 is listed and see whether the right permissions are listed for that user. If user 3 wants to access object 1, again go through the list and see if the, user, the object is listed over there with the right permissions, otherwise the user cannot access. So which means you go through a specific user record and just go through the entire list of objects. So if you have m objects, it's going to be order of m complexity for a capability list. On the other hand, if you want to do it with an access control list, you know what object the user wants to access. So go through that object list and see if that user is listed over there. If the user is listed over there, then with the right permissions, then you can let the user to ac access, otherwise not. So the worst case, you have to go through all the n users listed for the particular object. Okay, so that's why it's order of n complexity. Whereas in an access control matrix, you always have to spend n times m complexity time because you have to go through uh, all the rows and columns before you can really decide at the worst case what is the whether the user has permissions on that object. All right. Now the second one ease of adding access permissions for a new subject to the different objects. So in this case what we have is there's a new user and you want to list that user in the um, list and uh, give him the permissions to access the different objects. 
So if it's a new user, the capability list, all you have to do is add a new entry, say U4, and list all the objects to which he has to access. So at your case, you have again to list only M objects. So, so that's why with the capability list, it is order of M. Okay. On the other hand, with an access control list, if you want to add information about a new user to all the existing objects, then you have to go through every list of objects, go through all the user list, and then append that user at the end of this list. So after you're done with O1, you have to do the same thing for O2. You have to go through all the lists, uh, users in that list, and add that user at the end of the list. So which means you have m objects you have to go through each of those m objects n times in the worst case so the complex is going to be n times m with an access control list that is to add a new user to the system if you want to add a new object to the system and give the users different the users who are there the access then with access control list all you have to do is add an object and list all the users who who has the permissions to access that object and the right permissions so that will take order of n time because you just have to add one entry for the object and then all the users who get the access. On the other hand, with the capability list, you have to go through every user list and which means all the objects in that list and then append information about that object. So you have to go through all the n users and for each of the n users you have to really um, go through the entire list of objects, which is m objects in the worst case, and then append that object information. So n uses m objects per user list, so n times m is the complexity that you encounter in this case for a, on a capability list when you want to add a new object. Okay.